on this diffuser, you're gonna get parts that are missing an edge. Those go on the outside. So this guy goes here and you get the part with the cutout. That part goes over your OEM diffuser. This is the longest part, goes in the center. The other cutout and the other end. The reason this is cut out is because there's no plastic in the OEM bumper for you to drill into, so you have to drill into the inside. Um, what we're doing is we added two extra holes on the edges here. We're not using this one because it actually falls in that gap. There's nothing for it to grab onto. And we are going to use some titanium bolts on the front end right here. Um, so we're making these holes and then we're going to have a nut on the back. And then we're using the supplied hardware for the rest of it. Um, and then we're also using our own bolts for the edges here and the two center screws just so that it's nice and stable and we don't lose it. These are the self tappers that they send you. And uh, we're using them in some places, but not everywhere because this thing's expensive and we ain't trying to lose it on the highway. Uh, all right, so we're gonna finish drilling the holes and then I'll do another update. two bolts um, one here and one on the other end that's lightly holding the diffuser in uh, we took out the tape from the corners we have it right where we need it and pull this bitch off uh, put a little less pressure on it mm -hmm. all right how are we looking good yeah, okay. All right, keep pressure on it. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna um, cut the video because I'm gonna use a heat gun to uh, put it on the 3M tape lightly and just go back and forth all around to activate the adhesive on it and then we'll finish self-tapping it. Fucking hands shaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks sick. Bro, the thing looks aggressive. No, it's fucking aggressive. I was gonna say the same thing. Can't wait to put the OEM tips on. Awesome. Those carbon spats are gonna really pop, dude. You think so? Yeah. All right, fuck it, man. I'll put it on. I was gonna wait to get side skirts on it, but fuck it, dude. I'll put it on. It's, I mean, it's it's a quick thing, right? Well, like, dude, it's it's so fast. Yeah. Five minutes, man. And then once you get the OEM, yeah, uh, outer rings on here, yep, to cover that up. Yeah. And then once these are all the way off, you can uh, you can finish cleaning them up if yeah. you want to get rid of them. Yeah, oval tips. So it's gonna load. You, you've seen the OEM tips before on ISF. Yeah. Yeah, I like them, dude. I always, yeah, me it's, too. it's like the, the easiest way to recognize the ISF from behind. Yup, absolutely. When you put it in drive later, uh, mm -hmm. don't step on the gas, just let it coast by itself off the ramp. Oh, okay. Otherwise, you'll spit him out. Okay. Good luck.
those of you that haven't seen the rest of the car. So he's upgrading all the uh, side skirts and full ground effects to carbon so it's all gonna match before you guys say anything about it not matching. Are you gonna are you gonna ever do this carbon? I don't know. I don't know. I kinda I like it white. Me too. It looks good. Me too. Yeah. Keep all the carbon on the bottom yeah. and then you already got the roof, so yeah. hell yeah. If you guys wanna follow the build, follow him right there. All right, we're gonna clean up the garage, guys. We've been at it all fucking day. And then you wanna just pull into the driveway? Yep. <laughs> it still has the stoppers in the front. Oh, okay. <laughs> Back up a little bit. 